everyone. Welcome to lesson 11.1, first lesson of this chapter. Here we go. I will be able to summarize numerical data using the mean. We're going back to the mean. So I want you to write this down for notes. Show it to me tomorrow. Make sure you have these notes down. Here we go. The mean or the average of a data set is the sum of the data divided by the number of pieces of data. Essentially, add up all the numbers and then divide by how many numbers there are. For example, on the bottom here, I have, let's say these are my test scores. I have got a 93%, a 92%, a 75%, and a 100%. I want to know what my average score is. So, like I said, you take, you add up all the numbers that I have. So I have 100 plus 93, 92, and 75. Going to add all those up, I get 10. 18, 19 plus 7 equals 26. And then 360. So the total points is 360. But there's the second step when finding the mean or the average. After I add up all my pieces, I divide by how many numbers there are. I had four numbers, one, two, three, four. So I take 360 and divide it by 4 to find my average. And 4 goes into 36 nine times. Subtract my 36, bring down my 0. 4 goes into 0, 0 times. So my average is 90. All right, I don't know if I should zoom in a little bit more here for us to see my work there. My average is 90. All right. So I hope you took those notes down. Now let's find the mean for the number of representatives for these four states. So we have Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia, and Louisiana. They have a certain amount of representatives. Tennessee has two, four, six, eight, nine. So I'll write a nine there. Kentucky has two, four, six. Virginia has, well, if I know this is nine, 10, 11. And then Louisiana has two, four, six as well. I could have saw that they were the same. Now let's find the mean or the average representatives out of these four states. So I'm going to take my four numbers, my 11, my 6 plus 6 equals 12, but I'll just keep them as sixes, and my 9. Once I add those up, let's turn the screen off for a little bit so we can see those numbers a little better. I add these up and I have 6 plus 6 equals 12, plus 11 equals 23, plus 9 more equals 32. All right, I had four, um, four states to divide by, so I added on my numbers. So I have to do 32 divided by 4, and we know that 4 goes into 32 eight times. So the mean for that situation is 8. After all of that, the average amount of representatives or the mean representatives, mean representatives, I don't know if it's mean, but is, is 8 for each state. So even though Tennessee has 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, the average or the mean is 8. Now I'm going to look at a dot plot. You'll see this in your books too. Let's find the mean for the number of runs the Yankees scored in a four-game series. So in one game, they scored one run. In another game, the second game, possibly they scored three runs. And for two games, they scored four. So I'm going to put four down twice. If I look at this dot plot, they scored one in one game. Let's say they won one nothing that game. This game they won 3 nothing. This game they won 4 nothing, And that game they won 4 nothing. So the total amount of runs, because the Yankees don't really give up runs, the total amount of runs the Yankees scored in a four-game series was 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11, plus 1 more is 12. So they scored 12 runs in four games. What did they average? What was the mean? So I take my 12 and I divide it by 4. 4 goes into 12, 4, 8, 12. They averaged 
three runs per game, their, the mean for that situation was three runs. All right, even though they only scored three once, a couple times they scored above, and once they scored below. So when you average it out, you get three. All right, this one's a little tricky. You don't have homework on this type of problem, but you will see it. What happens if we are missing some data, but we know the average? And you know me pretty well by now. I like to think in terms of algebra. So I'm going to use a variable for my missing number. I'll show you what I mean. So these are the amount of minutes I spoke on my phone the last six months. My mean speaking time per month, my average, is 532 minutes per month. How many minutes did I speak in the last month? So let's say January, February, March, April, May, June. I don't know how much I spoke in June. All right, but I know that I spoke these amounts in the other months. So I'm going to kind of set it up like this. 492 plus 502 plus 486 plus 690 plus 478. And let's say this was the month of June. I'll use the variable plus j equals, now, my average was 532 minutes. All right, but to get the average, you add all of these up and divide by, let's take the screen off, you divide by the amount of months there was. So I had one, two, three, four, five, six months. So this brings us to algebra now. I have to add all of these up, all right, because I need to simplify first. So I'm actually going to make a vertical over here, 492, 502, 486, 690, plus 478. Here we go. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 6 is 16, plus 2 more is 18. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 8 is 18, plus 9 is 27, plus 7 is 34. And I'll do 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 4 is 19, plus 4 is 23, plus 3 more is 26. So, I talked for 5 of my months, I talked 2,648 minutes. So I'm going to go back over here and simplify this now to basically 2,648 minutes plus my June month, all right, my month of June, my last month, and if I divide it by six, because these all together were six months, will equal 532 my mean, all right? So now we want to get this month by itself, essentially. So I'm going to multiply six, this whole side by six, and it cancels out, and multiply this by six. So I'll do 532 times six. Here we go. We get 12, 18, 19, 30, 31. Okay, so what I'm left with is 2,648 plus my one month I didn't know about equals 3,192. And what's the opposite of adding? Well, it's subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 2,648 from this side, gone. Subtract 2,648 from this side. Here we go. I have to borrow. That becomes an 8. This is 12 minus 8 equals 4. 8 minus 4 equals 4. I need to borrow again. 11 minus 6 equals 5. And 2 minus 2 equals nothing. So now I have my answer. J, or that last month of June, was 544 minutes. All right, so I saw an algebraic way. You might see it differently, but essentially all you really had to do was add up all your months and then divide it by the, sorry, add up all your months, then you have your number plus your, your variable, and we divided by six. We were had to divide it by six because there were six months. I canceled out my sixes, and whenever I do the one side, it did to the other, and that was a lot of work. It might seem kind of confusing. I'm sorry if I confused you, 
That's okay. We'll go over this type of problem. You don't have to do it for your work right now. But here's what you have to do for me tonight. This dot plot right here shows you the number of beads sold. Find the mean number of beads. So you can see there's five beads sold once, seven beads sold three different times, eight beads sold twice. So find the average amount. So you'll add them all up. There was one, two, three, four, five, six different instances when you sold beads. So you'll probably have to divide by what number? Yeah, six. All right. You should be all set. Find the average or mean of that question.